Uh, greetings, Aries, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope y'all are doing wonderfully well, and thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and to my new viewers. Uh, jump right in and um, participate here in this community of learning to use our intuition to gain insight and to take action on things that are important in our lives. And I just wanted to uh, offer this reading up to all of the marathon runners who are coming to Boston uh, to run in that race tomorrow. And to all those who lost their life or limb uh, during the Boston Marathon Massacre, uh, my heart goes out to you. And so let's jump right in and see what it is uh, that Aries, your angels, want you to know is the theme of the reading. And jump right in. And I invite you to bring your own question to the reading, Aries, so that way each card is a portal into what it is that you are bringing to the reading in your own um, intuition. And manifestation is on your mind. You've been working on something, a creative project, or at work, you've been working on a building a, a platform to build um, your career on, a new idea. And you're drawing in that down from the stars. Look at how illuminated you are. And you're lifting that up almost in this state of bliss of receiving. And what is it you're receiving, Aries? Uh, listen deeply. You're listening deeply to whatever is that is manifesting. To listen to another, you, uh, your partner, uh, your um, husband or wife, or a co-worker or a friend or a child. Listen deeply and that will bring uh, the manifestation you've been wanting. And what it is you want is compassion for whatever this is your manifestation uh, is bringing. And so that is beautiful for my Aries. And thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And bring just accurate, clear, and precise information. And so it is. And this is you, the page of coins. Well, you're going after something. You're planting a seed. You're building. You want to manifest. This is the man. This is pure potential seeking manifestation. This coin. This is the pure uh, potential of the world itself. Like a seed, you plant that and it grows a whole enormous tree. Or you plant this idea and work it and uh, be in collaboration with others and move it forward and to learn about it. And you will uh, bring in an amazing abundance. And this manifestation is coming because of this uh, page of pentacles. And you see these are almost like little pentacles there. And you have to listen deeply. Listen deeply to this reading. Listen deeply to yourself or to another because uh, when you listen deeply, that compassion comes. And as we have this compassion, uh, what grows tends to flourish. Um, and uh, the star, yes, we start to shine in that darkness. We take this seed planted in the dark earth and then bring that hope and that inspiration to it and will shine and heal and benefit others and bring that wealth not only to ourselves but to uh, listen deeply to others that we're manifesting that capacity to have compassion and le listen deeply Aries that could be part of, of the gift you are bringing from the star and the hermit um, is saying at the foundation you had to do a lot of introspection. You've been spending time studying uh, and learning about yourself, about what you truly want, what you truly believe in, what you want to shine out there, what you want to bring forth uh, from within. And recently there has been a time of temperance, of alchemizing, of blending of these different areas of your life. Uh, maybe bringing this desire to uh, create money and wealth, but also to do it in a field like in a helping profession where your services of helping others 
in crisis or helping others with an illness since you have the star, that ability to heal and uh, to renew. And then the temperance card is also a card of healing because when we blend those different elements within ourselves and that lead, that part of ourselves that we had in the past not valued becomes gold and you transform and become something totally new. And then you've got this uh, high, Hierophant at the crown saying uh, that there's authority over you, that you're coming to recognize this connection between uh, the above and below, and you are looking at your beliefs. You're looking at what you, and that's at the hermit, and then uh, at the <clears throat> crown, you're taking in this higher knowledge, doing things by the book, really staying true to orthodox beliefs about a commitment to another person or to yourself um, or to God. But this is all about initiating ourselves within that higher order. And um, then you've got the Queen of Wands, this fiery queen connected to uh, Aries, to the fire signs. And she is looking to the future with her wand of fire, with her confidence and her ability to take her intuitions and to let them light this fire within her and to go for that with a confidence. Uh, so there's a lot of energy of confidence in going after what you want. And then there's the emperor. Uh, there is the, <coughs> um, you're the boss. That's a card of Aries. You're bossing up. You see that you're taking this coin of manifestation and you're actually uh, taking control of your life, taking control of your destiny. Uh, when you say bossing up, you're becoming uh, the leader, the ruler, the one who's in control of your life. And um, it's like the song, what am I gonna do when it's up to you? Uh, what are you gonna do when it's up to you, Aries? And that is the emperor is when it's up to you, you become the emperor. And that's very forceful and powerful. And then you've got the king of uh, wands uh, right next to the queen, this divine uh, couple of fire. And these are the fire couples and your sign, Aries. So it says there's a lot of, um, of confidence and passion and entrepreneurial energy and leadership. Um, with this emperor and the queen of wands and the um, king, there's a lot of power with this star coming. And you've got so many of the major arcana uh, with the hermit, temperance, uh, the hierophant, and the star, and the emperor. Wow, this is a major reading. This isn't just everyday uh, energies. And the hope and fear is the five of a wand that there will be conflict, fighting, competition, um, arguments about whatever it is that you're working on. And listening deeply will help to understand what it is that you have maybe cooped up energy. That's another fire sign. You need to get out there, do something sporty. Uh, take up a contact sport or get involved energetically uh, with um, your hope and fear is with uh, something that makes you feel fiery and alive and passionate and confident. And um, then you've got the uh, Knight of Swords coming in quick with a, an announcement, something quickly coming in, a communication, some energy. Uh, that is of the mind, some intelligence is being used and you're going after something like on a crusade uh, and moving with this fiery couple of passion and leadership and going after what they truly want with this uh, unique way, being an entrepreneur. And you're bossing up here. Wow, well this is an amazing reading and let's see uh, what it is that the... Um, Angel Oracle wants you to know why is the a page of one of, of pentacles here uh, taking that potential, that seed, and growing, um, starting at the foundation, but being willing and knowing you can grow a fortune. 
You're having that self-acceptance, uh, that you accept that this is where you are right now. You can start at the bottom, but you're going to plant that seed a step by step to the manifestation you're uh, moving toward. Um, through that self-acceptance comes manifestation. And the star is here because of, of blessings and abundance. Well, the star does bring blessing and abundance. And self-acceptance is the most blessed and abundant, amazing uh, energy we could have. Um, and that's uh, the composure is coming at the foundation because you've been working with this hermit and going inward, getting introspection, and knowing yourself at the foundation because you've been healing and alchemizing and growing and becoming something totally new through forgiveness and understanding. You're blending and healing and becoming gold, transforming. And the transformation is coming because you are listening to that higher power. You're taking on a, a new um, a commitment to something that is bright and shining and uh, that is going to be full of fire and passion. And you're going to ask and receive. Well, the a queen of wands, she goes after what she wants because she asks and receives. And whether she knows how to do it, he or she, genders are fluid, that knows how to ask, knows how to be involved, knows how to take that intuitive uh, little nudge and go after it. And the emperor is here, and you got angelic protection as you boss up, as you take on your own authority. You've got that protection to be in control. And the king of wands in your environment is asking you to cut the cord with some uh, energy, some body, some authority, some leader over you. And you're going to cut the cords because uh, you are um, maybe in that hope and fear. There's some uh, competition, some quarreling, some difference in opinion, some setbacks in the way the schedules are working, but something with this king, this fiery energy, uh, you're cutting the cords on. And one of the shadow sides of this king is that he really supports and is very charismatic uh, toward those that, um, like a narcissist, will give him what he wants, feed his ego, um, fulfill that narcissistic um, drive to whatever they want you to be for them. And you're cutting the cords on that, Aries, because you're going to boss up. You're becoming the authority of your own life. And it could cause conflict when you uh, start to cut the cords. But you've got this sacred plan. And um, as my son once said, who's an Aries, um, I, going off on this adventure across the country, well, I have a plan and I'm not worried. And so especially when we have a sacred plan and we're tapping in with that hierophant at the crown, that we aren't worried. And we know we have to jockey for position and keep fighting and struggling. Life is about that. But if you have a sacred plan, then you can take your mental energy and be a crusader toward whatever this is, this plan you're going toward. And um, it's asking you to clear, cancel, and release. Well, uh, this a knight is coming in with that sword. Um, he's wielding it, ready to use it, to clear, uh, cancel, and release. And you've got two cards that say cut the cord and clear, cancel, and release. And that is what I have for my Aries. And uh, let's get one uh, final card as a gift to take away for my Aries and see what it is that you need to um, take home with you to reflect on. This is a lot of energy here. Water carrier. What really matters? Reflect and reprioritize. Well, when we cut cords and you know you have to clear a cancel and release something, then you have to see, well, what is it that you're really moving toward? What is, what is uh, really matters to you? 
Uh, what is it that you really want to manifest? And you have to have compassion and listen deeply um, as you are moving toward this uh, water carrier, finding what really matters, reprioritizing. And that's what I have for my Aries. And if you like the way I read, again, please subscribe. And you know I love you. And we're in this interconnected field, a learning that there are times that we need to let go and cut through and clarify and move on. Clear, cancel, and release. And that's the journey you're on toward that manifestation. And you'll bring compassion and you'll listen deeply uh, for those downloads to know uh, just how this transformation is coming for Aries. And see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>